By the age of 27, I was invited as a TEDx speaker in Toronto and competed in North America's largest inspirational speaking competition. Since then, I've been paid to speak and host various personal finance workshops for corporations, nonprofit organizations, and high schools. And today, I get to run my own coaching business while traveling around the world. Now, if you asked me a few years ago, I never would have imagined that I'd be on stage speaking to hundreds of people. I'm actually a massive introvert. But over the years, I learned how to overcome my fear of public speaking, get good at it, and actually get paid for it. And so in this video, I'm going to share with you how I became a paid speaker, even as an introvert, and how you can too. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Michael Lee Kim, and I'm a personal finance coach, CPA, TEDx speaker, and digital nomad. And my goal is to help you have control over your money and your life. Let's get into it. Okay, so if you want to be a paid speaker, the first thing that you need to overcome is your fear of public speaking, obviously, but how do you actually do it? Well, here's how I did it. As I mentioned before, as a kid, I was a massive introvert and really shy. And this really held me back from meeting other people, doing well in school, and career opportunities. But then everything changed. Hola, gracias. Okay, so in 2020, I found myself stuck at a corporate job that I absolutely hated and was stuck living at home. But I really wanted to have the freedom to live and work anywhere in the world while doing something that I actually liked and felt like it was making an impact in other people's lives. And so at the time, I realized that a lot of my friends and family were struggling to pay off debt, buy a house and invest their money and I knew I could help them. But once again, my fear of speaking and my fear of being seen prevented me from helping them. And then I realized that if I don't overcome my fear of being seen and speaking in public, I'm first of all not going to achieve my dreams of being able to travel and work anywhere in the world and I'm actually not even gonna be able to help the people that I love and care about. And that's when I made my first post on social media and started my coaching business. And this is how you overcome your fear of public speaking. Your pain of not speaking has to be greater than your fear of speaking. Looking back, it was more painful to stay at my corporate nine to five job and live at home than to put myself on the internet and be seen and speak in public. Fast forward four years later, I now have the life that I want. And it was all because I overcame the first step, which was to overcome the fear of public speaking. And so if you wanna be a speaker, but you're scared to show up, I want you to ask yourself, what's the pain of not showing up, of not speaking? If you don't speak up, maybe you won't get that promotion or that salary increase or your ability to provide for your family. This is the pain that you need to think about in order to overcome your fear of public speaking. And so think about this the next time you want to speak up. When it comes to speaking, a lot of people think that they are either born a speaker or not. But that's not true because speaking is a skill. In psychology, there are four stages that you need to go through to master any skill. There's unconscious incompetence, conscious incompetence, conscious competence, and unconscious competence. Let me give you a real life example to explain this concept. So back in 2020, when I first started my business and posting on social media, I actually didn't know if I was good or bad at public speaking because I never did it before. Looking back now, I know that I was really, really bad, but at the time I didn't know, which is why I was in unconscious incompetence. But then as I started posting on social media and comparing myself to other people on the internet, I realized, oh, I am really bad at public speaking. And that's the reason why I was in conscious incompetence. I was bad, but at least I knew it. But then I started to ask myself, how do I actually be a better communicator? That's when I found mentors and people to learn from about how to tell a compelling story. But then I was in conscious competence. And then after over three to four years of posting on social media every single day, I eventually learned how to be a proficient communicator without even have to think about it. 
And that's when I finally got to unconscious competence. And this is how I mastered the skill of speaking. Speaking is a skill just like swimming. Most people aren't born knowing how to swim. But if you put time and energy to take lessons and practice, you'll eventually learn how to swim. And it's the same thing when it comes to speaking. As you can see, I didn't become a paid speaker overnight. It took me over four years of consistent time and effort to hone and master the skill. And even today, I'm constantly trying to improve my communication skills. But speaking is a skill that can be learned. All you need to have is put in the time, energy, and have the commitment to develop this skill. But the thing is, just because you overcame your fear of public speaking and you've mastered the skill of speaking, this still isn't enough to become a paid speaker because you're missing the last ingredient, which is thought leadership. You know, becoming a speaker is so powerful because your power of influence increases exponentially. Normally, if you chat with just one person, you're trading one hour of your time. But the thing is, when you're speaking to, let's say, a room of 100 people, you're now taking up 100 hours in their lives. And so your ability to influence and impact people has now exponentially increased. But if you're going to be taking up 100 hours of people's time, you better have something good and of value to say. And this is why you need to learn how to develop your thought leadership, which is your unique ideas and perspectives about your certain area of expertise. I developed my thought leadership in the personal finance space by coaching my clients. For example, initially, I was only focused on coaching my clients on investing, about how to invest their money, how to choose stocks, etc, etc. But what I soon realized is that just coaching my clients on investing didn't actually help them with their personal finances, because investing is just one piece of the puzzle. In order to truly have control over your money and your life, you have to learn how to make, save, and invest your money. And this is when I came up with my unique signature coaching framework called the Art of Money Management. And this is what I spoke about at my TEDx talk. And so now because I have this unique perspective and framework that's backed by people's real life experiences, I've been asked to speak at conferences, corporations, and workshops. And so this is why you need to learn how to develop your own thought leadership in your space. Because having your own unique ideas and perspectives gives people a reason to choose you to speak at their conferences, corporations, and workshops. And yes, they'll pay you for it. And so this is how I became a paid speaker at 27, even as an introvert. But as you can see, this didn't happen overnight. I spent years trying to overcome my fear of public speaking, honing my speaking skills, and developing my thought leadership in the personal finance space before even getting on stage. But this is what it looks like if you truly want to become a speaker and get paid for it. Becoming a speaker isn't easy or glamorous process. But if you focus on the reason why you want to speak in front of hundreds or even thousands of people and commit to improving your communication skills and thought leadership, I guarantee you will have an extremely successful speaking career. If you found any value with this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you're notified when I release a new video. And if you want to learn how to better manage your finances but you just don't know where to start, then get started with my free 20 minute training, The Money Skills Audit. To get it, just go to michaelekim.com forward slash start.